Hello, everybody. Thanks for joining me. Hey, Red. We're not going to get away with this, are we? This is the first episode of Tron Meets Film Noir. Come on. Pull. AKA Transistor. There. Together again. You can see we've recovered sword. the eponymous sword, and we have our first two functions. What a night. You're still in one piece. Crash That's all that and matters. breach. I'm going to restrain myself and not talk if the game has Thanks. something more interesting that to say. Already. They want you back. That might also room. include some of the fantastic music this soundtrack has. So it's composed boring. by Darren Korb of Super Giant Games, who created this. Which is also the company nice. that created okay, let's go. Bastion, which is deli. well known as being bay. basically an indie are. classic. Similar to Bastion, this is an action RPG, or at least it's most easily defined as such. More of these creeps. You'll see here that friend, we have an option in combat called Turn. The nature of Turn is such that the gameplay can be a little halting, and that's the primary criticism I've heard of the game in the past. However, I think that's a failure to recognize what the strength of that is, which is that it takes the game from an action RPG into something more like a puzzle game. Particularly as we improve the functions available to us, we'll have so many options that we can tackle battles from a variety of different viewpoints. Another thing that I really like about this game is right here at the beginning, you can see that in addition to these first two functions, We're clear. there are spaces for two more primary functions. Uh, not just that, each of those has two slots below it, and we have four slots, two to either side hey, of the console. I think this is really cool because it signposts Hello, in the RPG elements, all that. not just We're on the edge of town. what blocks away. you're doing now, but how you're likely to actually have your character evolve as the game progresses. Another There's thing about this set. game is that it doesn't Still too close have to we better get as far from there as pre-rendered cutscenes, per se. Uh, it has these very painterly style moving backgrounds, kind of an old-fashioned animation style, actually. I really like it. Might not be to everybody's taste, but uh, it's certainly interesting and not something that you see very often. This battle sort of gives us our first hint as to what these enemies are. You can see that Get out of here. the creep had We're been good. almost painting the wall, but it had been changing it into something she that awake. looks very much like the creep itself. Hi. You okay? And here's Lillian Platt. I see. Sure. She wants to come along. We can use her. We have our third function. Intersection. Let's see. So Spark is a group of detonations with Which secondary effect. Cover your tracks. And as we get into the more complex portions of Rain's the not even system, on the uh, you'll see just how useful that can be. Scattered clouds trailing this time. So. Weird Where setting. We? People can vote on the weather. Watch out. Uh, so you can see here I actually uh, was trying to do this in as few actions as possible using breach as a uh, straight line on these enemies, but it just wouldn't quite line up. So after sort of thinking about it for a while, I just decided, eh, let's blow things up. Two more of these. Turns out that that was actually more than I needed because secondary at that guy. But I I really love just watching the execution of this series of uh, actions that you've put in. I think it's a really cool way of giving uh, a cinematic feel to something that just is totally up to the player's decision. Hey, end of the plaza. It's you. I really love the art style of this game. I'm so sorry, Ray. It's inspired a lot by the works of Klimt. They took your voice. 
and Art Deco, of course. This also makes me think a lot of uh, Metropolis, the FW right now film. Hey, let's just go. Which is maybe on, just more go. apt. Just you think. And there's a weird shadow behind us. Damn. Hello, miss. <laughs> and there's the name for the enemy. I don't know if you noticed this before, but the enemies are just named after the first thing that Mr. Nobody, the voice inside our sword, calls them. Uh, you saw before that if you finish off an enemy but then don't collect its cell, it will respawn. The young ladies are different in that they have loads of cells whenever you take this them down, used to be here. but they won't ever respawn into young ladies, which is simultaneously more and less threatening depending on the nature of the fight. Wait a second. This is kind of a big-lipped alligator moment in the game for me, because after doing this the first time, I expected it to be a major mechanic that we would see used in loads of puzzles, and it doesn't really make an appearance again. Let's pretend that never happened. I think it's cool that they demonstrate it that way, but I feel like maybe it was hey, intended Boyle, to be expanded on a little more and just was not. It's him, all right. And we him. have another damned soul trapped inside our sword. Jaunt is a dash move, and as everybody knows in video games, dashing is always really useful. Oh no! Cut off our escape. Hey, big. Tough car. Uh, you'll notice these guys, not very easy to hide from them because they tear down those walls like crazy fast. You can also see me stacking a series of effects here together. The backstab effect, as well as breach, which is increasing the damage that each one of those functions would do over its normal standard. Jaunt also goes through these white, sort of, artificial walls, which is another reason it's so useful, no matter how far you get in the game. Back Although, back. not essential. Hey. There are definitely loadouts where you can avoid using the dash altogether. So here's our first time leveling up. We get to choose between two functions. I've chosen the mask, here. which is a stealth effect. Uh, it also gives us another option for increasing our damage in combos. Because okay, whenever you in. come out of stealth, your first attack does loads more damage. So here I'm going to add Mask to my lineup, and you'll notice that I have my four function slots full, and I'm going to upgrade a function for the first time. So now you can see I'll get a tiny little bit of stealth whenever I use Jaunt, but instead I decided to uh, take myself out of the default loadout, and sort of change things around here a little bit. So I want to use Mask for its full effect and put Crash onto Jaunt. This Good. is really cool because although Just it doesn't do any block. damage, I want to show you something. Crash has its secondary effects of applying the Crash debuff and a temporary okay, stun there's on a enemies. Way. And now anytime back, we dash back, back, into back, back, them, back. they'll be stunned. It's pretty handy. Here you see that the enemies upgrade, in addition to you, uh, they actually gain new abilities, not just stats. And you can see I switched to Jaunt here at the end, because you actually get to use Jaunt even when your turn is cooling off. It's one of the best ways to avoid getting attacked. Alternatively, you can use Mask at the end of a combo to become stealthy and invisible to enemies temporarily, which is equally as good, though it's a different style of play, and not terribly well suited to the functions available to us right now. You can hear Ashley Barrett just sort of humming the soundtrack here. Let's go. Of course, it's already been shown that Red has no voice right now. 
Ashley Barrett did sing the soundtrack for vocal versions as well, uh, and we'll hear some of those as the game goes on. Uh, you can see my health bar there is sort of ticking down, and I'm going to rush through both of these guys to finish them off with a single attack. Collect their cells and battle them. So is this whole block. The voice for Mr. Nobody inside the transistor is done by the same voice actor who voiced Rux in Bastion, if you're familiar yeah, with that. Good call. Game, which is also fantastic, and That's our way if out. this gets well received, I'll probably do a playthrough of it as well. Okay. E64 on ramp. Five blocks down. Take the second right. Do not turn left. And thanks for the lift. I love this animation Hi. style. You turn left. Thought we were gonna skip town. We're going back there. You meant these things. They do not have a sense of humor. They will track where? you down, wipe you out. That's her next episode. Back to those two bit camarada pieces of trash. There's our first. Introduction to thinking. the human antagonists of this game. Don't let me go. Hope you guys like that. Join me for part two, where we visit our place of work, the empty set.